Hello students. Welcome to introduction to IST part 2. So at the end of part 1 we were discussing the contents of unit number 3 wherein there is a list of so many analog ICs. So what is mean by or what is the intention of this unit? So let us um, uh, you know we all know what is an instrumentation amplifier isn't it? So when I say instrumentation amplifier what circuit comes in front of you? So uh, maybe there is a circuit with the with three op amps that comes in front of you isn't it three op amps and so many resistors something like this so this is an instrumentation amplifier we all have seen instrumentation amplifier we all have implemented an instrumentation amplifier under lic and we have seen that this is a very complex circuit if i want to um, set gain of this circuit uh, there is a huge formula with so many resistors into it but at the same time in market we have another type of instrumentation amplifier which is ad620 which is the first point in unit number 3 and that instrumentation amplifier looks like this see how simple it is it is 8 pin ic wherein you can give inputs you can give supply voltages you can have output and you can also give a reference voltage now here you can see there is rg at pin number 1 and pin number 8 so what is this rg this is called as gain resistor here we are supposed to connect an external resistor and the value of this resistor gives us the gain of the amplifier so here setting gain of amplifier is very easy as compared to this so this is the optimal method of implementing an instrumentation amplifier so all such optimized methods or you know all these newly developed ICs are there in unit number 3 similarly so unit number 3 deals with analog circuits whereas unit number 4 deals with digital systems so what is there in unit number 4 we have single chip devices which are nothing but ics for a phase locked loop we have programmable counter digital panel meters isolators power drivers which are used to drive stepper motors or dc motors so all these things are what they are optimal methods of implementing digital circuits now so far as the references for unit number 3 and unit number 4 are concerned the references are data manuals for these ics by the companies because these ics are developed by companies like motorola texas analog devices national semiconductors isn't it so the manuals that these companies publish along with these products they form our reference material so this is unit number 3 and unit number 4 what kind of questions are asked in university question paper design problems are asked some problem is given to you and you need to select the ic out of the available ics you have to design the circuit such kind of design problems are asked on unit number 3 and unit number 4 extremely interesting units these are moving forward let's have a look at unit number 5 unit number 5 is dedicated to pcb design guidelines printed circuit board so now you have a perfectly working circuit on breadboard what if i want to prepare a pcb what if i want to prepare a prototype of the circuit then here we will have to prepare the layout we will have to talk about the pcb size how much mechanical stress that particular pcb can handle because the pcbs are uh, manufactured in some country some factory and then these pcbs they have to be transported to some other place so here we this handling capacity stress handling capacity of the pcb is a very important factor here we are also going to see design rules that we need to follow while implementing analog pcbs while implementing digital pcbs what are different types of boards artwork care packages what details of soldering testing and debugging so here at the end of this unit number 5 we should be able to uh you know list and explain all the important steps which are there in pcb design so far as references are concerned this book printed circuit boards book by walter boshan this book contains all these points but during a single practical it is uh, you know it is very difficult to teach students how to develop their own pcb so as an um, you know add on point here we are also going to conduct a pcb design workshop in our department wherein we will have hands on we will take a circuit and we will develop its pcb all from the scratch so this workshop is an additional activity that we are going to take under unit number 
तो यूनिट नंबर सिक्स स्पीक्स अबाउट सिस्टम परफॉर्मेंस एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो सिस्टम परफॉर्मेंस मीन्स हाउ रिलायबल योर सिस्टम इज वी आर हियर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्वालिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इन सिस्टम डिजाइन वी शैल ऑल्सो डिस्कस क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस हियर रेफरेंस बुक इज रिलायबिलिटी इंजीनियरिंग बाय बाल गुरुस्वामी so these are all um, unit six units that we are going to study under isd this is this is the list of reference books we have process control by liptak machine design uh, by bandari and we have machine design by shah and also we need to have all the data manuals for all the ics analog as well as digital so this will act as references for isd so this is all about what is there in the isd i hope that you have understood uh, the significance of this subject you have understood that what all various points are there in this subject and where what material to refer while studying this subject wish you all a very happy learning thank you